There are four concentric shells A, B, C and D of the red eye A, 2A, 3A and 4A. Shells B and D are given the charge plus Q and negative Q. Shell C is now earth, the potential difference between V and VC is equal to. If I consider the four shells, okay. If I consider the four shells over here, okay. That is A, B, C and D, okay. Now A is at the center, B is outside, okay. C is uh, the third shell and the D is the fourth shell. Now it is given that uh, the shell B is given as positive charge, okay. So this is given positive Q, okay. This over here is given positive Q. Okay, and uh, shell D is given as so shell D is given a negative Q. Okay, shell D over here that is the outer outermost shell is given as negative Q. Okay, and then shell C that is this shell is ground is uh, connected to earth. Okay, and this is shell A. So we have to find out the potential at shell A and po minus the potential at shell C. Okay, now first of all. First of all, in order to maintain this, in order to maintain this, okay, neutral charge, what happens is, what happens is, there will be negative charge induced on the inner part of this shell C, okay, there will be negative charge induced on this inner part of this shell C, okay, and there will be positive charge induced outside, but now since it is grounded, this negative charge will be eliminated, okay, this negative charges will be eliminated, okay, so now basically, now basically what happens is, now basically what happens is, the potential due to point A, the potential due to point A will be due to the positive charges on Q, due to the positive charges on shell B and due to the negative charges on shell D, which is equal to over here, which can be written as, which can be written as over here, uh, neg uh, the, posit the uh, potential at point A will be equal to K, Q divided by the radius of shell B is equal to 2A, okay, the radius of shell B is equal to 2A, okay, plus, okay, or it will be equal to plus K minus q the uh, the uh, the radius of shell d is given as 4a so basically it will be equal to 4a okay so this will give me the answer negative q uh, negative kq divided by 4a this is the potential at point a okay this is the potential at point a now the potential at point a okay due to at the shell a now the potential at point c the potential at point c will be due to the outer charges at d and due to the inner charges at b Due to the inner charges at B, it will be equal to KQ divided by KQ divided by radius of shell C. Radius of shell C is equal to 3A. Okay. Okay. Negative, it will be equal to KQ divided by 4A. Okay. It will be equal to KQ divided by 4A. Okay. So, this will give me the answer. It will give me the answer KQ divided by 2LA. Okay. KQ divided by 2LA. Okay. This is the neg uh, this is the potential at point C. Okay, this is equal to neg potential at point C. Okay, and this over here will be a positive term. Okay, this over here will be a positive term. So it will be equal to K Q divided by 4A. Okay, now over here V this is V C. So they have asked. So they have asked what will be equal to V A minus V C. V A minus V C will be equal to V A minus V C will be equal to K Q divided by A into 1 by 4 minus 1 by 12. Okay, 1 by 4 minus 1 by 12. So, it will be equal to KQ by A into 2 divided by 12, which is equal to KQ divided by 6A. This will be the total potential difference between the shell A and shell C, which is equal to option number D.